Welcome back to Whiskey With E. I'm Eric. Now today, not a whiskey with or without E, we're trying the strongest rum I'm ever gonna try. I mean, Bacardi 151, back in the day, you know, we used to drink obsessively, you know, when you're younger, you're like, oh yeah. But that got discontinued in 2016. Now, there's this, which is called Stro. Alright. So this is, the 80 represents 80%. So the European and Australian market says 80. Uh, the American market says 160 for 160 proof. What do I know about it? Oh, all I know is there's a warning. There's a, <laughs> look, check it out. Check it out, guys. All right, I'll read it. I'll read it. It says, high strength alcohol warning. Rapid or excessive consumption can cause injury or death. Now, I'm thinking, how long is this going to be legal for? So, I figured, may as well grab one to try now, you know. You know, like, if only we stocked up on Bacardi 151s. Now that's a piece of history. But, this is going to be very interesting. I mean, I'm excited, but I'm scared at the same time. Alright. Well, let's do it, eh? Uncracking. Oh, alright, here we go. Uh, alrighties, so, it is, supposedly, it's the same ingredient since 1832, you know, there's a little 1832 right here. So, it is original Austria Inlander rum, alright? Not Islander, Inlander. I didn't even know that word existed. Learning everything, everything new every day, you know. You learn something new every day, guys. That, that's what I was trying to say. Oh, my goodness. All right. You have to drink responsibly with this, definitely. Um, keep in mind. Oh, my goodness. What is that color? Wow. What? That is a mahogany. That is a mahogany. Oh my god. That is random. I have never seen. Like, that reminds me of a random wine. Like a. Like a rose or something. You know, like, look at it. I mean, it's still dark. It's got that. That whiskey hue about it, but it is a mahogany. Look at it. Wow. Alright. On the nose. Oh, uh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm scared and excited at the same time. I, I've never felt this, guys, before. So, first time reactions, first time unedited, unscripted. Here we go. There is like a deep, dark caramel to that. But, it's surrounded by all this... It reminds me of like a, it's alcohol. It's the alcohol, you know, like, it's it's almost like, like a nail polish remover or like a glue or something mixed with all this caramel. Slight butterscotch. It's interesting, right? I can feel the alcohol in my nose. This is going to be crazy. I um, all right. I'm worried for my taste buds. Uh, uh, here we go. Well, first time for everything. Cheers, everyone. If you're thinking a warm Kentucky hug, that is warm. Oh my goodness. You would have this in the winter. I bet you Austria is a cold country. Like for them to make something like this, like this is, they, they class this as a spiced rum. So... You know, I've just tried the 
the Kraken Dark Spice Rum. Now that, that is like pre, play school, preschool, you know, like, that's like, that's like kid stuff compared to this. Like, when, when you step in to here, you're joining the big boys, you know. Th this is when you go from being a boy to becoming a man. This is when a girl becomes a woman. This is when you grow hairs on your chest. And trust me, that's hard for us. People that look like this. But, um, oh my goodness. Alright, so what can I say about that? Alright, when it's in your mouth, right? You, normally you want to spl splush it around, hold it on top of your tongue. All that kind of stuff, you know, with the high proof bourbons. But this, I was just so scared that I just had to swallow it really quickly because I tried I, I did this similar thing to spiritus now spiritus is the strongest liquor in the world all right so it's 96 percent spirit from Poland now that left my tongue tingling for like two weeks so I was worried that I was gonna get the same kind of thing with this but but actually this it went down surprisingly like it's not a bite it's just warm but then there is that sweet caramel notes that come through but you are getting that it's probably like their own kind of a rum funk I guess it's whatever spices they're using or however they're making this but I, I'm, I'm more curious to see what they actually use this for like how do they drink it traditionally Maybe we'll have to research this, but um, if you guys know how um, the Austrian people drink their stro, well, when I first got this, I'm like, stroff or something, stro, stroff. I'm not Austrian, I don't know the pronunciations, I, I don't know how, how they actually call this, but let's go with stro, because it's like the O's at the end, oh. But, uh, all right, all I can say is, yeah, I rate it. <laughs> all right, so $91 from Dan Murphy's at the moment, 92, 500 mils, but it's 80%. Like, that's probably the only glass I'm going to have, you know. You know what, I'm going to go get some Irish cream, and I'm going to add some of this in and see how that goes. But, as a whole... Do I recommend this? Yes. Give it a try if you want to try something extremely high in proof, 160 to be precise, 80% alcohol. Give this a try. I mean, I, I thought it was just going to be real bad ethanol alcohol, but there's actually some nice sweet flavors coming out of this. Give it a try, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you've tried this. Um, damn. Ah, oh, that's dangerous though. Can cause death. So be careful guys. Drink responsibly and 